The apology was bogus, okay? That's number one. Let's just get that out the way. And the reason why it was bogus uh, is because this is, a, this is about what their bottom line is. Um, and their bottom line was even more dramatically affected once they revealed what their position was publicly. Yeah, because you had a lot of folks, particularly within the African-American community, that were very put off and offended uh, by the statements uh, from, 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 what's it, Mr. Snyder. Uh, so they had a problem with that, and, and it's as simple as that. But I want to emphasize this. I completely and totally agree with Will K. I don't think an apology was necessary. If that's how you feel and your bottom line is being affected, what the hell are you moonwalking back from it for? That's what you said. You pointed to numbers to justify your position. You pointed how you're struggling. It was it was an earnings report. It was a conference call right. about that. You weren't being interviewed and coming out and just pontificating about something and expressing your point of view emotionally. You were having a discussion about earnings and how those earnings may they have been compromised according to the projections that you had that, that, that were previously reported. It had to be an explanation for it, and the man was given it. So if it was based on that premise alone, how are you going to sit up there? You look like an absolute fool for coming out and apologizing and talking about how you didn't mean for your comments to be divisive when all you had to sit up there and say, look, ladies and gentlemen, it was an earnings call meeting. We're losing money. They asked me why. I told you why. Is anybody out there willing to deny that? You have to remember, African Americans and others who are protesting, why are you protesting? You're protesting to be disruptive. You're protesting because you want to send a message. You're protesting because you want to make people uncomfortable, and you want them to suffer because that's the way you believe ultimately things will get addressed. So as far as the African American community is concerned, and those who have supported Colin Kaepernick's position within the community and beyond, who, who speak out against President Trump basically calling them SOBs and all of this other stuff beyond the African-American community. What is your agenda? Your agenda is precisely the kind of thing that the CEO for Papa John's was pointing to. But so ultimately, he was acknowledging okay. that it worked. I, Stephen that, A., wait, what's wait, wait. Apologize like One to... thing, one thing I just want to say. Stephen A., they're calling it the official pizza of the neo-Nazis, though. Don't you have to address that? No, he has to address that part about the neo-Nazis. I'm talking about him literally feeling the need to apologize for comments coming across as divisive when, in fact, what he was alluded, what, what really made noise yeah. was the fact that he apologized, you know, when he came out and spoke about the NFL, rather, and he said, hey, we're losing money because of all of these protests. It happened to be a point in fact. The protests were affecting Papa John's Pizza's business. Thank you. I don't see it. There's no problem. Hold on. Hold on, hey, hold on one like second. We're, now, on. We're, now, we're, now, we're sitting here and saying that, you know, trying to draw a direct, a direct line from protest to Papa John's, but I didn't see Domino say anything about it. I didn't see Pizza Hut say anything about They're it. They're not the official but, sponsor but of the they, But they, adver they, advertise on t they advertise during games, too. So, I mean, you can't... I don't, I don't see how you can just sit there and say, oh, well, Does my Domino's? numbers, my, my numbers are I'm directly sorry, correlated to the protest. I just, I don't buy that. Well, well let me, I want to comment on the, on Will, on what you brought up and Stephen A., you seconded it. Um, all right, my, all the right, idea my, that yeah. a careful, essentially a careful reading of Papa John's initial statement shows that they weren't making blanket, uh, you know, denunciation of the protests. Let's, let's key in on that. He said, nip it in the bud. Now, that was interpreted by many, I think. People just intuitively, you know, understood his position and took Nick nip it in the bud to That's mean true. they 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 inferred they took it to mean squash the you know quash the protest right but maybe he was saying no we have to come up with a solution that satisfies everyone papa johns could claim that let's take that case and say that's in fact what he meant then the question becomes, do you not apologize? Do you release a statement that says a careful reading of what we said initially is simply that the protests were hurting business and that the NFL's response to it wasn't good enough? We're not saying anything about... No, you know why you don't do that? You know why you do this instead? Because this can't be misinterpreted the same way. This is a, it, just like that was a business decision, and Will and Stephen A., you're on board with that. Hey, if it's hurting your business, do what you have to do. Well, this is one of the things you have to do. You have to release a statement that's very clear to let everyone know, Will, you can call them the dummies or whatever, and maybe you're right, many of them. I'm but just... You have to let ev or maybe people don't have enough time in their day to parse the words initially. They just remember Papa John's against the protest. So Papa John's needs to let their 
customer base know, wait a minute, we're not against anyone. We should all come together because then you could all buy our pizza. And that's what this statement Max, does. I just want to be clear. Tries to. When I call someone dummies, and I, the only pointed group I referenced as being morons was the neo-Nazis, what I mean is this. Right. The statement that Papa John's made is I mean, okay, we could parse nip it in the bud, but it's benign on its face. Damien, is it right or wrong? I don't know. They are the number one official sponsor of the NFL when it comes to pizza. Ratings are down 8% in one year, 20% over two years. They feel like fewer people are watching the ads they paid for. Thus, their pizza sales are not up the way they wanted them to be. Is that actually the cause, Damien? I'm not 100% sure. But I can look at that and go, I think he's making an honest business assessment, right or wrong, and I'm looking at his words that somehow have been being called what? divisive. And the only way it's divisive is if you give credit to the people I called morons, Max, because there are people out there that will do anything with your words. Trust me, all four of us know this. On any given day, and make what you say not what you said. Stand by your words. Have courage and conviction. If you're right and you didn't do anything wrong, don't then go apologize.